you're out for an early morning nature hike, when a sharp, ungodly howl rattles your insides. It sounds like a monster. Before you can say a word, you're smack in the tracks of a snarling animal with yellow eyes, black pupils, and long, sharp teeth. Should you run away? Here's how to survive a rabbit coyote attack. Coyotes are highly adaptable and will eat almost anything. Since the turn of the 20th century, they have been getting increasingly comfortable around human settlements. And if a rabbit coyote lands even a tiny bite on you, it could be enough to kill you. How can you tell if a coyote is rabid? When should you throw rocks at it? And what can you do if you're surrounded by a pack of coyotes? Step 1. Do not run. Whatever you do, do not panic and run. This will trigger the coyote's hunting behavior. Instead, back off slowly, always keeping eye contact. Step 2. Make yourself big and loud. If you're facing a coyote, you have about 15 seconds to get your act together. Coyotes don't like to fight animals that are bigger than they are. So stand tall and make some noise. Yell and clap your hands. An adult male is about 23 kilograms and can be scared off by a larger, more aggressive creature. Step 3. Pick up your little ones. An adult male weighs about 23 kilograms and stands up at 66 centimeters high at the shoulder. And lone coyotes are more likely to go after smaller children and pets. Pick them up and get out of the coyote's range. Retract the leash on any larger dogs. Step 4. Prevention goes a long way. If you live in an area with coyotes, don't leave pet food out in the open and tightly secure garbage and compost bins. When you venture into potential coyote territory, carry pepper spray or a water gun filled with vinegar. Noisemakers and whistles can also be useful. Step 5. Fight. Can you save your child from a coyote attack? A New Hampshire dad killed a rabbit coyote with his bare hands. After the animal attacked his toddler in January of 2020, he kicked the coyote off his child and threw his body on it, clamping the coyote's snout shut with his hands. He pressed its nose into the snow and pinned its body to the ground. In about 10 minutes, it was all over for the coyote. But if your instincts fail you and the coyote has the upper paw, Protect your vital organs by curling up into a ball and scream for help. Step 6. Beware of the pack. If coyotes surround you, shield children from the pack by placing them in the center. Throw rocks at the coyotes and continue to yell. You'll need to appear large and scary. As soon as you can, get to safety inside a car or building. Step 7. Watch out for rabies. If the coyote is rabid, it likely won't respond as you expected. Get inside a car, behind a coyote-proof fence, or indoors if possible. If the coyote manages to break your skin, it's critical to respond right away. Wash any bites thoroughly with running water and soap. Inform authorities and get an anti-rabies vaccine immediately. Disease like rabies is the leading cause of coyote deaths. Most of us know to read frothing at the mouth, unusual aggression, Limping or staggering are typical signs of rabies in an animal. But rabid wild animals can also display what is called dumb behavior. So think twice about whipping out that camera to capture your Snow White moment with an unusually sociable coyote. It's probably got the big R. Congratulations! You've managed to intimidate that vicious coyote and survive the encounter. But what's that awful rash on your leg? And how could you treat it? We've got you covered. Check out How to Survive Tick Bites here on How to Survive.